Morning, Alex. As you can see, I'm currently in my shed. The reason for this is twofold. One, I figured out what I'm writing about for my magazine writing class, and that is human power transport, and more specifically, competitions about human power transport. And two, I need to fix my bike because otherwise I will die. You might not remember this, but I am a huge fan of bicycles. Now, I'm not like a professional rider in competitions, but I really enjoy building them and working on them, and I do enjoy riding them. And so human power transport is like taking that love of the bicycle to the next level. Come on, folks. For anybody else who's interested in human powered vehicles and the competitions surrounding them, I suggest you check out the IHPVA, the International Human Powered Vehicle Association, linked down there, which basically is the regulatory body that declares how the competitions have to be performed. Bolts, putting away the bolts because I don't need these ones. You're probably wondering what kind of vehicles I'm talking about. That's a very good question. I am talking about everything. Like, they have competitions for just about any kind of vehicle you can imagine. Now, in my mind, the two competitions that are like the pinnacle of human powered vehicles that I would like to see take off. <laughs> take off. See, it's a joke. Now, the two competitions that I think should really get a lot more publicity because they're totally awesome is the Icarus Cup and the International Submarine Race. Now let's start with the submarine race. It is a one or two person submersible vehicle. It's just a straight shot. They have to try and make this submarine go in a straight line as fast as they possibly can under human power. And some of these things moving pretty quick. And I think I could build a submarine, especially if you don't have to worry about like breathing in it because all these people are wearing scuba tanks. Now the competition I'm most excited about though is the Icarus Cup because that is flying machines. Not as many bolts in here as I thought there would be. So I'm sure a lot of us have seen the Red Bull Flugtag, which is where you have like a platform and you kind of push things off of it and see how far you can go. And some of those people actually do try and fly, but it seems like a lot of the ones they show, it's just all about the pageantry and pushing things into the water. The Icarus Cup isn't really like that. It is a legitimate, we're trying to fly competition where they're trying to set records as far as speed and distance and how long they stay in the air. Of all the nuts and bolts that I have, the only nut that will work to replace the one that I stripped out on this brake is a wing nut. Which means that anybody who wants to come by and disconnect my brakes, they can just do it by hand. There are road competitions that I think are totally sweet, like the Kinetic Sculpture Races, which is a beautiful blend of artwork and mechanics is sort of like the triathlon of human-powered vehicles. You have to design one vehicle that can run on the road, do like a mud bog or a sand dune climb, and then do a water course with minimal alterations between the courses. And that's what I'm going to try and write for my magazine article, and hopefully, hopefully it'll be good. Also, just to show how much I enjoy human-powered transport, here is me riding a tall bike. Alex and I have a competition to see who can get the first positive comment on one of our vlogs. And so I want you to comment on this video because I will do one of two things of your choice if you will leave a comment below. One, I will write you a song about whatever you want provided it's not horrifyingly offensive to everybody. Or two, I will record a video of myself trying to learn how to ride this unicycle. So. Leave me a comment below, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, I'd really appreciate it, it would totally make my day, and I'll write you a song. It won't be a very good song, because I haven't played the guitar in a while, but I will write you a song, or I will hurt myself on this unicycle. Alex, I'll see you tomorrow.